Well, hello everybody. It's Erica. And today we are out here in nature, babies. So if you hear some background noises, that's why. Um, and if you hear that clicking, popping noise, that's my motorcycle. I just got to where I'm going to do these audios. So that should go away eventually. But if you hear that clicking noise, that's what that is. So today I am going over a list of what I'm going to be using for Inktober. And this book right here, this 64 page book, is the book I will be using. And um, that gives me a cover page. And then as long as I don't mess anything up, I will have a page for each day of Inktober. And I do plan on posting a video every day for Inktober. So if you are interested in following along and watching that, go ahead and subscribe to my page. And if you hit the little bell and then hit the little bell on top, YouTube will be nice enough to let you know every time. In case you guys wanted to hear that, they'll let you know every time I upload a video. So, anyway, um, these are the inks I'm going to be using. I bought the Bombay. Um, Dr. Phil Martin Bombay India ink and I will be using those for color and they also have black and white and um, I've already used them uh, if you've seen any of my, my previous video I used them out with the other book I bought that was a mistake but that I really liked so I bought another one <laughs> but um, yeah so I'll be using that one and um, I will also be using some Copic multi-liner pens and um, some of these water brushes. I bought a set of the water brushes. I, I don't know if they'll stain or how they'll work. I haven't really used these too much, so I don't have that much, um, what do you call it, I guess, um, experience with them. And of course, that's the whole point of Inktober is um, learning to use some things that are challenging yourself. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be challenging myself with some new tools and some new mediums. So um, I'll be using those. And then I also have the Jelly Roll pen and the Uniball pen. I use both of those. Both of these pens are about empty though. They're getting pretty low. So I'll probably have to get maybe another one of those at some point. And then, of course, I'll be using the Pentel brush liners, pens, the Pentel brush pens. I like those. I like the ink on those. Uh, you got to let that dry a little bit before you um, erase over it. I learned that the hard way, too. So if you use those, you want to make sure if you put a heavy line down, you don't want to erase over it right away because it does take a sec for that to dry. Now, I have a hard time controlling the flow of that pen sometimes, so I don't use that pen for real precise lines, but I do use it when I just want a nice, heavy, dark line. Uh, it works great for that. Um, so, And then, of course, I'll be using the Copic Multiliner pens for the outlining for the ink part. Um, unless they run out, I do have some micron pens. I'm, if I have to use those, I those but I think I'll be good. I only use the certain ones anyway um, like the last two for instance the brush nib one the hard brush nib and then the softer more flexible brush nib I don't really use those too often so those I'll probably have forever. <laughs> so yep yeah, um, and that and that rubber eraser that I love uh, even though it it erases really well it does not erase the really like if I go really heavy with the pencil it doesn't erase those really really heavy lines so a couple of times I do go in and use uh, one of those bright, white erasers just the white rubber eraser I think I think it's made by Pen Pentel also um, it works really well so I like that but I do like not leaving the um, eraser shavings or scrapings or skin or whatever you want to call it behind so um, yeah, that rubber one's pretty nice for overall erasing. And then of course I have my uh, trusty purple and green mechanical pencils that I'll be using for doing all of my um, line work first. I'll be um, 
trying my best to follow the rules, the, you know, rules <laughs> of Inktober, if you're going to follow any rules. I mean, I know the, the first rule of Inktober, I think, is there are no rules, so do what you want, but I'm going to follow the, the prompt list that Jake Parker does, and I am going to limit my materials um, to just what I use in this video. That's what I'm using. And I'll leave a link, of course, to all of the supplies that I use in case anybody wants to check it out and do any, you know, in, you know, art with it. And I will also kind of be limiting myself in my art as well. I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to go too crazy with each day's prompt. Um, the challenge for me is going to be more to actually finish the challenge this year because I did start Inktober once in 2017. That was the first time I ever heard about it, but I didn't finish it. And then in 2018, uh, just, yeah, I didn't do it in 2018. Didn't really have time. I uh, had a, a lot going on, so I skipped it all together. I did one video, uh, I think for Cruel. Yeah, it was for Cruel, and I didn't like the way the picture turned out and the video is on YouTube if you want to watch it. Um, it's back about a year. So yeah, this year I'm making goals. <laughs> so what about you guys? I would love to know what your plans are for Inktober. Do you plan on trying to make it through the month? Do you have um, different prompt lists that you're using? What supplies are you using? Do you have an Instagram page or something like that? Um, if you have an Instagram, I am on there a lot. That's probably my more active place that I post pictures and where I follow people and look at their pictures. So if you have an Instagram and you plan on posting for Inktober, I'd love to follow your stuff. Just um, leave a comment down below what your Instagram is. And of course I can just search and find you that way. So yeah, I'd love to know what you guys are doing for Inktober this year as well. Or if you're making YouTube videos, I'd love to know. Um, I'm terrible on social media. I really feel really bad about that sometimes. Like um, Amino, I have a hard time keeping up with Amino, and um, some of them. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try harder through October. Like get on there too and post stuff and keep up with everybody. Um, but yeah, mostly Instagram is where I am the most active. So if you have an Instagram, I'd love to follow you. Let me know. And of course, YouTube. I love watching the YouTube videos too. And I will say, um, after doing this piece here, I really do love these um, ink washes. I love the way they work. I've used some watercolor and they're nice too. And I love the markers also. And um, I've done the snake, two snakes so far with these ink washes. And um, then this and I love them. I think they're great. If you haven't tried them, you should definitely like maybe pick up one bottle of your favorite color, give it a try. They're a lot of fun. They're easy to work with. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you guys posting for Inktober. And yeah, sorry about the wind in this video. Um, hopefully it won't be as windy the next video I do. It gets even windier when I say that, like it's trying to prove something. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I will see you in the next video. I love you guys. Have fun with Inktober. All right.